What's up guys? I heard you got some FPS issues in Valorant. No worries, I'm here to fix them. So basically, I will show you 10 to 11 steps that you need to follow. And once you follow those steps, your FPS are gonna go boom. I mean, yeah, you will have more FPS than you used to have. Basically more FPS, yeah. Anyways, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't because only 2% of you are subscribed. So yeah, that's, I mean, do something about it. Anyways, let's start the video. So the first thing is just right click your Valorant icon and go to open file location. Here. Go to write games. I mean go a folder back then go to write games. Valorant. Live. And you will see Valorant here. Right click. Go to properties. And under compatibility. Select disable full screen optimization and then click change high dpi settings then click the override high dpi scaling behavior okay apply and okay once it is done go to shoot a game binaries win64 and scroll down and you will find valorant win64 shipping so the same thing right click go to properties compatibility disable full screen optimization change high dpi settings check this box apply and okay Next thing is to disable game mode. Go to the search bar and type game mode and you will see game mode settings. Just go ahead and turn this off in case this is turned on. It just eats up resources. So yeah, once it is done, the third thing is to defrag your drives. And how do you do that? Go to the search bar and type defrag and hit enter. So my Valorant is in C drive, so I'll just click optimize on the C drive and it's done. If you have never done this, you will have this analyze option as well. So just hit analyze and then optimize. It can take some time depending on your PC. Once it's done, go to change settings and set it to weekly. Another thing is to remove useless animation from Windows. And how do you do that? Right click this PC, go to properties, click advanced system settings and click settings under performance and in here this option is checked by default so just click adjust for best performance and all these check boxes will be removed hit ok and ok another thing that you can do is close the startup apps so what you need to do is right click the taskbar go to task manager and in here you will see startup apps just click startup apps and disable everything you do not really need like Microsoft Teams, I do not use it every time I open my PC, so I have disabled it by default. It may be on, so just click on this thing and disable. So do this with every single thing you do not need, like I don't really open Steam every single time I open my PC, so I have disabled it. And same goes for the other apps as well. And obviously I use Discord, so I have left it enabled, but you can go ahead and disable it. Also, you can see the impact on the startup. You can go ahead and enable or disable these. Next up is cleaning up the cache files from your PC. So just hit Windows and R key, then type percent %10%, temp percent, hit OK, and just hit Control A to select everything, Shift Delete to permanently delete all these. And don't worry, no data will be lost. These are temporary files that are not really required after a particular task is done and skip the files that cannot be deleted then go hit windows r again this time type prefetch then do the same thing control a shift delete it's done next thing is playing with the graphics options and what exactly i mean is right click and you will see display settings then under related settings you will see graphics in here if you see valorant already added here good if not you can just go ahead click browse and select valorant once valorant is selected click on valorant hit options and just click on high performance i have done it already but if in your case it is set to power saving just go ahead and select high performance once it is done once it is done, time to change your power plan. Go to the search bar and type power and you will see choose a power plan. In here, you can go ahead and select ultimate performance. 
or high performance. AMD power plants are because of the CPU. So just ignore these. You must be having balanced ultimate high and power saver. But some of you might not have high performance or ultimate performance because most of the PCs have balance and power saver. Just in case you are missing out ultimate or high performance, you can go ahead and watch this video right on the screen. In this video, I have explained how you can create your own power plan, which is equal to this ultimate performance power plan. So go ahead and you can watch it after this video. Once you have selected ultimate performance, go ahead and close this window. Okay, so the next thing is CPU and Parker. So the link will be in the description. You can go ahead and download it. Once downloaded, extract this one. Get rid of the original file. You will have this extracted version. Open this up and you will have Unpark CPU. Just run this one. Click check status. Once the checking is complete, uh, you can see the values will be displayed. And by default, they are parked. So go ahead and click Unpark all. And what is parking and unparking? I have explained this in a pre in the previous video in detail, so you can just go ahead and check it out. Once the CPU CPU is unparked, you can go ahead and close it. After this, you need to make some changes in the INI file of the game, and let's see how you can do that. So go to this PC, your local disk C, then go to Windows, then go to Users, User or in your case it will be the username of your desktop whatever you have kept the username then you can go to app data and just in case if these folders are not visible as you can see this one is a bit darker than the other because it is a hidden folder you can go ahead and search for hidden and you will see show hidden files in file explorer you can go ahead and turn this on Then go to app data, local, and then search for Valorant. You will find Valorant. Then saved, config, and open the first one, Windows, and you will have game user settings. Just in case you wondered why there are so many folders, that's because every time you sign in to a different account, you will have a different folder created. So you can click get modified and get the latest one select the top folder and you can click then go to windows and game user settings once you are into it just just make the following changes so resolution should be set to your maximum one like mine is 1920x1080 so leave it at that after that scroll down a bit and you will see scalability groups you need to make changes here and what exactly we'll see so resolution quality is set to 100 percent so make sure to decrease it to 70 or 80 because if you go lower than 70 or 80 the game will look blurry so just set it to 80 then go ahead and view distance quality and anti-aliasing shadow quality post processing quality texture quality effects foliage and shading you can go ahead and change these all to one. Once you have made the changes, go to file and save. So these are all the settings that you can do on your desktop to make the game run better. Once these are done, you need to head into the game and then I'll show you some in-game settings. Okay, uh, once you're in the game, go to settings. And first we'll change some settings in here under general tab. So scroll down and you will see show corpses. So go ahead and turn this off because then the game doesn't have to render bodies on the screen. So the performance automatically increases. So keep this off show blood uh, you can turn this off as well but i'd like to keep it on so i know if i hit the enemy or not once it is done go to video and under video make sure to set the display mode to full screen after that resolution should be full like i have selected the full resolution also 
have a look at the refresh rate if you have the same resolution but different refresh rate select the one with the highest refresh rate after that is done go ahead and turn off all the fps limits and nvidia reflex low latency set it to on plus boost or on but i prefer on so yeah i'll just keep it on then go to graphics quality in here multi-thread rendering should be turned on and all these graphic options like material quality texture quality detail quality and ui quality should be set to low Vin vignette vignette i don't know but yeah turn this thing off vsync obviously turned off if you have a very very low end pc and you face massive fps drops turning vsync on can be helpful but if your pc can manage a decent and constant frame rate keep this off anti-aliasing keep it to none and an isotropic filtering should be turned to 1x or 2x 2x should be fine i guess and these are the options that you need to focus on like bloom distortion cast shadows you can keep them on i haven't seen much of a performance issue you can keep these off but i prefer them on the main thing is improve clarity and experimental sharpening these two should be turned off because if you turn these two on they will eat up all the fps you, you are getting so yeah make sure to turn these two off specifically these three can be left on once it is done go to audio and in here enable hrtf is on by default so go ahead and disable it this is basically 3d audio it can give you an advantage obviously but yes obviously if you want more performance you can go ahead and disable this but i'll keep this on it is my personal preference once it is done close settings to go ahead jump into a game and yeah that's pretty much it so i hope this video helps and if it does make sure to drop a like and drop down in the comments what video you want next and i'll see you guys soon in the next video thanks for watching